What the heck is up you guys, it's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the Figma Good Smile Company Chainsaw Man action figure that we have been waiting for for quite some time now. Now this is one I know a lot of people had some things to say about and we're going to cover all that discussing the good, the bad, the ugly and everything that's great in between. So let's go ahead and get right into it starting off with the sexy packaging. Now for the box you have what is considered Halloween colors in my opinion. We've got some oranges all along the sides and then in the background we've got some greens. Then you got the window where you can pretty much see everything that the figure comes with inside. Um, we've got some images along the side. This is Figma number 586. It says Dingy Figma right there. The Mappa logo at the bottom. Dope image of him right there. Another one right there. Um, full body image of him on this side. This is when he's powered down. And then on this side we've got another powered down image not really a fan of this head sculpt it doesn't look the greatest in my opinion but we'll take a closer look once we get to the accessories and then of course on the back you've got a ton of poses you can get the figure into as well as the accessories and a bunch of stuff at the bottom that does not matter now anyway let's go ahead and bust this figure out of the packaging because i'm pretty excited to talk about it now straight out of the packaging, here we have none other than the Chainsaw Man himself, Dingy. And looking at this figure, it has everything that we saw in the promo images attached to it. The good, the bad, and the ugly, as I mentioned earlier, we will be discussing all of that. But I just wanted to show the figure off for a second. And I gotta say, for the most part, it doesn't really disappoint because it's exactly what I was expecting. I remember when this figure went up for pre-order, so many people were pretty much conflicted about whether they were actually going to pick this one up or not. It didn't fit how a lot of people wanted it to look aesthetically. And then next thing we knew, Tamashii Nations announced their version, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people ended up canceling this one in order to get that one. Now, despite how you might feel about either version, which you think is better, which you think is worse, you can't deny the fact that Figma has decided to give us the whole dingy package and what i mean by that is we pretty much got everything that we need to complete a dingy figure versus tamashi nations just giving us chainsaw man with very few accessories this right here is pretty much two figures in one and for the price points which i will cover later on i think i'd have to say it's definitely worth it if you can look past some of the issues that this figure has but anyway let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy so we can examine some of the details. Now getting up close and personal, the first thing I want to highlight is the fact that this head sculpt definitely looks really, really good, man. The hair has this very soft sculpt to it, but it's dingy straight from the anime and it looks absolutely amazing. And then when it comes to the shirt, this just looks really good. Again, it's very soft in comparison to the SHF. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't have all of the extra sculpt work. But then again, Figma does use a very different plastic. I love this kind of cocky expression we got here with the detailed lining under the eyes. The arms look very good. Not a whole lot of detail there. Uh, the tie is a bit suede. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or mine is warped. I have to go back and take a couple of looks at the promo images. But for the most part, it doesn't look bad. You got a little bit of gapping going on here and that's something I want to highlight. If you want to hide the gapping in the shoulders, you kind of have to turn them forward because when you get the figure, it sits like this which I don't particularly care for that I like to hide as many gaps as possible and just by rotating it you can hide that so it doesn't look too bad uh, still not my favorite but oh well now one other thing I dislike besides what I'm gonna get to in a sec is I wasn't expecting that to happen uh, but that pops back on easily uh, is these slits right here now obviously this is for articulation purposes but um i don't know we'll have to see how effective that is a little bit later i feel like they completely could have avoided these slits right here and still made the articulation work the way they wanted to uh, again we'll see that a little bit later but the biggest issue i have with this figure is this pamper slice look not necessarily this floating piece right here, but the fact that they put slits in it. I just don't 
like that, man. They did it with the SH figure arts or SHF. <laughs> they would never. A <laughs> Figma Kinto Nanami figure, and it just bugs me, man. I hate posing him without the jacket on just because I hate the look of this. I don't know why they did that. And I've started to notice that they do it on more figures than I've realized, including their Demon Slayer figures, but it's not really as noticeable. But I don't know, man. I just don't like that. But anyway, the rest of the figure looks really good, man. The pants are very sleek all the way down to the shoes. They're painted very nicely, detailed very well, and I don't really have any issues with this guy paint-wise. There are some aesthetic choices I don't like, but that's something that we were all expecting coming into this figure because, again, it looks like it did in the promo images, so it's not really anything that we can complain about. Now, when it comes to the height for this guy, he definitely feels taller than the average Figma figure. To the top of his head, he's almost at six and a half inches, which I think is really good. If Figma's going to start scaling up their figures, I am all for it because out of all import lines, they're definitely the smallest. Now, I will show some size comparisons a little bit later with the SHF versions. Unfortunately, I can't find my Katana Man. I had an extra and I have no idea what I did with it, so don't expect that one sadly if I can find it I might attach a photo at the end or at some point I'll post it on Instagram so yeah just be looking for that when it comes to the articulation he looks up about that much you're not gonna get any more because the hair does touch the back of the neck I think it's fine especially with this expression because it still looks like he's looking up unfortunately you do get a pretty ugly gap in there that you can't really hide I don't like that but what can you do about it uh, he looks down so much better he can pretty much look all the way down so if you want to get sad dingy walking with his head down that is not going to be a problem he gets a uh, pretty good tilt and turn uh, you just kind of have to mess around with the joint in order to make it look right but yeah you can maneuver his head and neck around very well the arms again popping off go up and out about that much now the butterfly joint is kind of at a curvature and so when you move them out they kind of protrude outward instead of going out wide I don't like that that much because it always is gonna look like his arms are coming in a bit like he wants a hug or something uh, of course dingy would uh, now if you want to utilize the butterfly joints they're not the most effective it still kind of comes out of this uh, almost like double ball peg joint that they have going on in here you can get his arms to come forward well enough but if you maneuver them around too much as you guys saw they will pop off he does have a swivel in there he has a single jointed elbow comes in about that much uh, and it does rotate at the elbow so that's good the hands are on see if I can take it off here the typical Figma hinge that works very well I don't really have any complaints about this you can rotate it around however you want uh, at the diaphragm here he leans back about that much which is uh, a decent amount he leans forward about that much which is also a decent amount not the best but it works and for some reason a hand fell off probably didn't put it all the way back on and I take that back he leans forward a whole lot more than I said that's uh, pretty good you can get him in some bowing poses just be aware there will be a huge gap in the back and no it goes more than that holy crap no this thing can bend yo whoa that's that's good figma has been getting really good with their articulation at the torso like despite how you might feel about them their stuff works man that rocker is really good he turns at the waist fine enough be careful with that. I feel like there will be paint rub if you do it too much just because you have black rubbing against white. This is a soft plastic, so it might not happen, but to be on the safe side, just be aware. Now, kicking forward, if you do it too much, the leg is going to pop off, which pretty much makes this floating piece right here useless or these slits because I'm sure they attach that or they cut into that because of articulation. Really, you can only get the foot forward about that much before it starts to pop off. Now, he can do the splits about that much. Again, if you move it any further, it's going to pop off. And then also, you don't want to warp this piece because he has nothing to hide it. Kicking back really only goes about that much. Uh, he does 
does have inner thigh swivel that works well enough the knees are on this ugly joint but they are very very effective so i'm fine with that now when it comes to the ankle rocker it's not at the top of the boot but you can move the top of the boot uh to turn the foot outward the ankle rocker is going to come from the lower half and it works fairly well it's not too bad and then also he does have a very stiff toe hinge so articulation wise definitely not bad for a figma i mean it's decent obviously it's not going to get in those shf poses by any means but um still it's not too bad now when it comes to accessories you get pretty much everything you need to complete dingy's entire character arc for season one straight out of the package he comes with his signature smirk which i think this is probably my favorite facial expression he also comes with a pair of fist hands now he comes with this kind of looking to the side tongue out face i'm not a fan of this man it just doesn't really look that good and then also the other expression he comes with, which kind of looks like he's talking or maybe he's happy. I'm not entirely sure, but these facial expressions don't really look that good. And I thought the same thing based on the promo images we saw with Power. I don't know. I think Chainsaw Man's art style is just really difficult to capture because I've even seen statues that don't really look all that good to me. Now he comes with an interchangeable head and neck piece for when he's powered up and I like this a whole lot. This actually looks really really dang good man this is cool right here and then he comes with an alternate job that pretty much swaps out the same way as the shf you just kind of pull the bottom piece out and of course it wouldn't be dingy if he didn't have his tongue out so there it is uh he comes with his chainsaws of course but unlike the shf version you cannot change the hands on these they're stuck like this which i mean that's fine with me but i do like the option of being able to have them rotated around or to have fists clenching hands whatever i want to use now you'll also notice that these don't have any blood on them but i gotta say paint wise I think these do look better than the SHF versions in my opinion. So yeah, anyway, he does come with several sets of hands. Here is the rack right here. He comes with grabbing hands, relaxed hands, a pair of peace sign hands. He comes with a extra hand for when he is chainsaw manning up, which is really dope. This just kind of attaches to the chest. And then the last accessory is the ax. I'm so glad that they threw this in. It's unnecessary, but just things like this and Pochita really make me happy. I still can't believe we didn't get this with the SHF version, but hopefully with the powered down version, we'll get a little Pochita accessory. But all in all, you definitely get a bang for your buck in terms of accessories and that seems to be where figma carries things whenever they make the same figures as other companies their accessories are usually on point now it wouldn't be right if i didn't show him in his powered up version throughout the review so i decided to go ahead and swap out the parts and also show him alongside the shf version and i gotta be honest man both of these look good, but I gotta say, when it comes to the chainsaws and the head sculpt right here, I do think that the Figma version looks better. Now, the chainsaws are a tad bit longer on the SHF version. It's up to you whether that's considered accurate just because, again, art style. Some panels, he might be drawn with longer blades. Other panels, they might be drawn shorter. Uh, it doesn't really bother me either way, but I feel like if Figma would have painted on some blood then they probably really would have taken it man both of these look good you can't go wrong with either but when it comes to just being more aesthetically pleasing especially when it comes to the shirt and the pants i've got to give it to the shf version now when it comes to everything else figma now one last thing i want to touch on is the boots i do oops and i hate the camera <laughs> i do like the boots better on the shf they're a tad bit bigger and i think that just makes the look more complete it makes dingy look like he's more of a little um a brat <laughs> i don't know the big busted open shoes give me that brat feel to him and so i really do like it man he's on some hoodlum stuff and that's exactly what dingy's all about 
I like both of these. Being honest with you guys, I like both. Now, if you guys do want that comparison video, make sure to drop a like. Uh, and if we get it to, I don't know, let's say 200 likes, I'll go ahead and drop that video for you guys. I'll go ahead and record it already. So if you want it, you know what to do. Now moving on to size comparisons, here he is standing next to the two figures that matter. We have him standing next to the SH Figure Arts Chainsaw Man and the SH Figure Arts Power. Honestly, he looks good standing next to both of these. It's only going to matter really standing next to Power. But one thing I got to say, if you look at the proportions, he's definitely a bit more sleek and slim in comparison to the SHF. Uh, I do like the build more on SHF. I like him having a bit more mass to him. Obviously, he's not like a big guy or anything, but I feel like the proportions on the SH Figure Arts version are just a bit more appealing to the eye. Now, one other thing I just noticed immediately as or is that uh, the SHF actually has a pocket that comes all the way down versus the Figma version right here, which doesn't. So I don't know if he changes shirts at some point, but I don't know. We'll discuss that more in the next video when I do the comparisons if you guys drop enough like for it. Moving on to size comparisons, here he is standing next to a couple of really dope anime protagonists and of course Goku. First off we have him standing next to the SH Figure Arts Monkey D. Luffy and I had to throw this one in there just because of the Netflix series taking off and I'm so happy that it's doing well. I'm excited and I can't wait to watch it. I just have to finish something else that I'm watching first. We also have him standing next to the SH Figure Arts new line Naruto which also looks great next to him and then we have him standing next to the SH figure arts dragon ball super cgi goku next up here he is standing next to a couple of figmas we have him standing next to the figma jujutsu kaisen greatness kinto nanami which is a terrible figure that somehow i managed to make look good uh we also have him standing next to the my hero academia or boku no hero academia deku and the figma kimetsu no yaiba or demon slayer tanjiro Last but not least for some random figures, here he is standing next to the Metacom toy or Mafex Batman Hush Nightwing. We have him standing next to the Marvel Legends Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man and a Jax Pacific Supersonic. Now when it comes to my final thoughts on this figure, I gotta say, before I even get to that, if I was to just come out and say that this was a bad figure because of the fact that I enjoy the SH Figure Arts version more, or I like the aesthetics of the SH Figure Arts version more, that would be a completely biased review. And I'm not going to do that. To be honest, this is not a bad figure. It's far from my favorite from Figma, but it's still a good experience. Now, that being said, when it comes to the things that I dislike, that's just more so aesthetics. That's just about it. This figure doesn't really have any QC issues. It doesn't really have any bad paint applications. He comes with tons of accessories. There's plenty of things to enjoy about this figure, man. And then another thing that I really want to discuss is price point. Now, this figure, I believe, was about $77 before taxes and shipping. Afterwards, I think I ended ended up paying about 90 something now when it comes to the shf i think i ended up paying about uh, i think 75 ish i'm not entirely sure it was somewhere in that ballpark now that being said the sh figure arts version didn't really come with much of anything versus for 15 dollars more you get all of these extra accessories with this guy so when it comes to the price point, I gotta say, man, I definitely think Figma is the one that is more of a bang for your buck if you like this design better. Now, obviously, SHF is going to make another dingy figure. They showed a promo image a while ago, and then they just kind of forgot about it. We haven't heard anything else. I'm expecting more of that soon, but as of right now, we don't really have anything to go on. So if you're someone who wants a dingy figure and you want a Chainsaw Man figure, then if you don't already have the SHF, this one is definitely worth picking up. It's not a bad figure at all. It's just 
all about preference and so that's all i'm gonna say uh i'll get into more details in my comparison video if we make it to that but um yeah overall i hope that you guys enjoyed this review if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever i upload new content and last but not least follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of youtube i hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe wherever you are and uh bye